Hello aquaponics growers, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. My aim is to help you to build sustainable, healthy and tasty food in your own backyard thanks to aquaponics. Today I want to introduce you, I want to present you uh, the Ecoflex setup. So that's uh, the aquaponics setup that I design in Melbourne Aquaponics. Okay, so I received many questions. Uh, why don't you make a video to present us uh, the aquaponic setup that you have? So um, that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I thought, you know, you see the setup in all my videos, but yes, today I'm just going to make one to uh, just show you uh, the different aspects of the setups that I design. So the first specificity of those setups is that uh, they are all in wood and they look amazing. So for me, aesthetic is something very, very important. And unfortunately, when you look at aquaponics online, what is happening around the planet, few people are doing some very interesting things, but uh, most, of, <laughs> most of aquaponics keepers, they are really passionate about what they do, uh, but they sometimes uh, forget a bit about the aesthetic of aquaponics. So you see a lot of plastic, a lot of pipes, and it doesn't always look the best. While here, what I do, I really, really um, focus on the aesthetic of the setup because I want my customers to be happy and to feel good when they are around the aquaponic setup. So obviously it's very, very productive. They are very efficient. That's a really good uh, setup to grow some fish and vegetables, but it's also a real feature by itself. It's something that you are proud of, that you can have in your garden, and that is gonna bring harmony in your backyard. And for me, that's very, very important. So it's a big shame to have a setup that is productive, but that looks really bad, plastic, metals, pipes, and uh, that you are ashamed of. It's good to be proud of what you do, of, of uh, what you take care of. So the setup that we have, they are very, uh, very basic here. It's simple uh, grow bed uh, flood and drain aquaponics. So the bottom is basically a fish tank and the top is a grow bed. So the fish tank, we got different dimensions. I, can, I offer different sizes, uh, but, but uh, basically it's made in, uh, in cypress wood, which is a very, very strong wood. And that's very important if you do this type of setup, don't use any pine, treated pine, because then in the treated pine, they inject um, some uh, heavy metals, cyanure, or this type of really, really nasty thing that you don't want to, definitely don't want to play with uh, in a garden and even less in an aquaponic setup, because you know you got some moisture, it's going to have some interaction with the wood. And if there are some chemicals in the wood, that's the last thing you want. So work with a wood that is really uh, sustainable and that is 100% uh, uh, pure. You know, you don't want to have any treatment on the wood. So here, what I choose is, is a wood that is so hard that even in contact with moisture, it's going to remain, remain uh, uh, very, very strong and can last for decades and decades. So the setup that, uh, that I got here, they are made in Cypress. And uh, depending on the function I'm going to, I mean, on the size of the setup, most of the, of the time I use 50 millimeters thick uh, cypress. So 50 millimeters is super strong. Uh, obviously inside there is a liner. And then for the grow bed, that's the same thing. So basically you got two points, one on top of the others, and then uh, I line them. Uh, I have some tricks to make them look amazing. So if you look at my setup, there is no screws, uh, nothing. So obviously uh, if you're interested in really we have a training, a step-by-step -step training to make exactly those setup, not plastic one, exactly those ones. And I really think they look amazing. So uh, they are very efficient uh, because uh, we got a grow bed on top uh, that is uh, 30 millimeters uh, high. I can do even more depending on the, on, the, um, on the request I have. But most of the time I make it 30 millimeters high. So the veggies and the bacteria, they got uh, enough room and I got a very, very good ratio between uh, the quantity of bacteria that we have and uh, the, the fish tank, the size of the fish tank. So all those things are very important things to take care of, but uh, I detail them in the free training that I offer in the description of this video, in the description of all my videos. So it's a six-step training to help you 
to breed your own aquaponic setup, but also to maintain it in the best conditions. So you can have access to it in the description of the video. And uh, I'm really gonna give you uh, the, the, the critical information you need to start aquaponics. So the bench is a cover for the fish tank. It's gonna limit the quantity of light that is gonna be able to go into the fish tank. So you can leave the bench open and you can also put it down and sit on the set setup and really enjoy having a really good time with your friends. So here you see I'm sitting on the setup and I got the veggies behind me. So they are really, really cool. So you know when you receive your friends, you, you are really cool because you can sit there, you got the, the, the vegetables behind you, you can just look at the ecosystem, watch the different insects working together, uh, looking for worms, looking for whatever, caterpillars, or even eating the food directly, sitting the here with a nice drink, it's just wonderful. You got this little noise of water sometimes to times, you know, when the bell siphon flush, which, which is very interesting, very positive. It has a really, um, a really good uh, impact on, on, the, on the environment of your backyard. You can lift the bench and have access to, uh, to your fish. So I think that's a really, really cool setup. Uh, you know, I, I started with a setup that was okay and I always improved, improved, improved. Maybe in the future I'm gonna find some uh, things to improve this setup. And today I want to take advantage of this video to ask you if you see anything that you think could be improved here uh, and that I could offer to my customers. So don't forget that you got access to a free training in the description of this video to help you to build and to maintain your own aquaponics setup. I really designed it to help you to succeed in aquaponics, so get it, it's completely free and it's just below in the description just below. So you remember that uh, in the last video I talked about this thing and I asked you what do you think this is. So today I'm going to give you the answer and you're going to be very surprised to see what is inside and what is this object. Okay, so here we are and as you will see, you will be surprised It is actually an egg. It's an egg, you see? So imagine how surprised I was when I went to the chicken coop and I found this very, very strange shape egg. Thank you for watching the video. Please give it a like and don't forget to share your comments uh, with the community from the description of the video just below. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I'm going to release one video every week. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop.